hi you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel welcome 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 and if you are returning hey girl so in today's video i want to um share my testimony this is very personal very deep for me because i never would have thought actually i was about to say i never would have thought that i'll share it but i told god i was gonna share it. i was like god i'm gonna share it so but i just wasn't expecting to share it as soon you know we kind of have our own ideas of when we want to do things and when we want to move there when we want to do this when we want to do that but god god is like i didn't tell you that i didn't tell you that that's when you was gonna do that and so god has been putting on my heart for a minute y'all a minute to tell my story tell my testimony tell what i've been through what i've overcome and how god is a healer and god works miracles and wonders and he is still he, he is still in the healing business he ain't never stopped being in the healing business he ain't never stopped doing what he been doing year, thousands and thousands of years ago so <clears throat> you guys bear with me because i don't know if emotions are gonna run I don't know i hope not this story is how god has healed me from an std right emotionally and physically we're gonna just jump right in there let's just first start off with when i started experiencing irritation and if you don't know irritation irritation in the lady parts right so i started feeling very irritated down there i was feeling like i had to pee a lot and then like when i would have to pee you know i would like get this burning sensation and stuff like that right I'm not gonna get into details and stuff like that i was getting this irritation and whatnot so i was like you know what let me go to the doctor and let me get an std test mind you my first instance was to get an std test in my mind i was still thinking like nothing is wrong with me down there because i haven't had sex in how long so so if if it, if it is something going on this had to be before before um i stopped having sex and it's just like now coming into action that's just how i was thinking so i was like okay let me go let me get tested i asked to get everything tested right so um a few days passed by probably like a week or something passed by and i had to go back to the doctor to get my results and so she was like you know you have herpes and i was like i just was like what <laughs> like i'm just like and the way she was telling me it was just like normal like of course because they get this like they tell these people this all the time so to them it's like nothing but to me i'm like what like how i didn't understand I really didn't understand although yes i did things out of the covenant of marriage and when you do things out of the covenant of marriage there are consequences there are things that happen not everybody gets a consequence but god gave me one and you know god knew what he was doing when he did this for me so um when you do things out of the covenant of what god says it's supposed to be done in or the the t context that god says it's supposed to be done in there are consequences for your actions and all that although i was like why god how like god i ain't been having sex god like how did this happen right even though i was doing that at the end of the day i did what i did right i i disobeyed what god said to do and this is what happens and i be trying to tell people like i really try to tell people like he tries to protect you with all his heart he protects you with the things that he says in his word when he says don't don't do this and don't do that it's because he knows what's attached to it he knows the consequences that come with it so when he says not to have sex until you're married he means that for a reason he knows everything that's attached to it because god made sex for marriage and then the devil turned it around and made it outside of marriage so now you see when it's outside of marriage do you see when it's outside of marriage the things that happen even people that are married and they do it outside of marriage right the things that happen to people the things that men and women can bring home to their spouse because it was done outside of marriage that you did what you did right okay but that's beside the point but y'all understand that please i was so sad i didn't understand why i didn't understand how i went through a very very depressive state like a year span of just sadness of just you know i just felt so sad and i just felt so hurt i felt so angry and i really just tried to put on a, a strong face because i just didn't want to give people the energy that i was feeling so 
you know how when somebody has pain inside they tend to reciprocate or give that pain to somebody else like by their actions and i just not i did not want to be that bitter person like i really did not and so i just really had to have a strong i had to put on a strong face a lot but inside i was hurting and inside i was just praying to god for you know something to change and you know so when the lady told me about my diagnosis i was like okay she told me about it and i cried about it and i wept about it and i was hurt and i was i was when i tell you i cried i cried god felt my pain you know god feels what we feel and he felt that pain was deep and um but i still believe that god I still believe God was a healer. You know, I didn't really understand everything that God does. I didn't. I, I always knew that God does the impossible because I've always been told that. But I never knew it in that context of like healing things that are, are incurable, right? But that is the impossible, the things that are, that are incurable. So, you know, I start going on Google. I'm like, can God heal, you know, what I got going on? I'm like, can God heal and just... I'm seeing different testimonies telling, saying that God is healed, God is healed, God is delivered, God is healed. They don't have it no more. I just been seeing different testimonies. I started like, you know, reading and watching. I started reading the word on healing. I started watching YouTube videos about people getting healed. I just started really gaining knowledge about what God does, right? And I'm like, wow, if God can do it for them, he can do it for me. And, you know, in the beginning of my praying process and my and my process of wanting to be healed, right, I doubted God a lot because I was like, okay, God did it for them, but can he do it for me? You know what I'm saying? We do that. And I doubted God a lot. And after a while, I had to stop doubting after a while, I had to consistently pray, 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 pray. Because the thing is this. When I would pray, I'd be like, I, I believe that I'm healed. I just left it like that. I believe that I'm healed. Then, doubt started coming in. And when you let doubt come in, the devil start coming in and tell you, you can't be healed. Um, she wasn't healed, so you can't be healed. Da, 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 da. Like, he just started saying things to you. So now, you start to unbelieve what you just was like, I believe. So I had to start getting serious with my prayers getting serious with my rebuking of the devil getting serious with what i stand on and what i believe that god can do because in the bible it says he heals all of your diseases let me get my bible let me get my bible hold on y'all psalms psalms 103 verse 2 through verse five i'm gonna read that it says bless the lord O my soul and forget not all of his benefits who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all of your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercy, who satisfies your mouth with good things. When I tell you I stood on who heals all of your diseases, every single time the devil tried to tell me, you're not going to get healed. He, he did it for them, but he's not going to do it for you. I said, he heals all of your diseases. I said he heals all of my diseases. God said this. God said this in the Bible that he heals all of your diseases, right? Right? He said this and you have to stand on it and you have to believe that he will heal you. You have to believe that he will heal you. You have to believe that he will set you free. You have to believe that he will deliver you. You have to believe that he will heal you because he says he heals all of your diseases. I want you to understand that he said he heals all of your diseases. So with that being said... I believed I like I just couldn't doubt God no more I said I'm not gonna doubt you no more God I know you will heal me you will heal me when you want to heal me you know before it's just so crazy how I be working but you know I was like God no like you heal me first and then I tell my testimony you know that's how it was but then after a while I was just like God you I know you're going to heal me. You're going to do it on your time. I can't I can't control what you do, God. I cannot control what you do. And I know that I'm healed. I know that I'm healed. I have so much faith and I have so much belief that I am healed. Can't nobody doubt me and try to tell me, girl, it's incurable. My God is the God of impossible. My God does the impossible. He does the impossible. He does what can't nobody else do. 
you know how many stories a doctor saying i don't know how this happened i don't know how the, how he overcome i don't know how he healed from that that's nothing but god god is the only one that does that god is the only one that does it and i just want to tell you guys you just have to believe that he will do it for you when they say believe it all your heart that's what they mean believe it all your heart even when it don't feel like something is happening just know something is happening i'm gonna need y'all to know that prayer prayer is powerful prayer is so powerful and he hears you he might not come when you want him to come but he hears you God feels when you cry. God feels when you weep. God feels when you're in pain. Like, he feels it. And he doesn't want us to go through that. You think God wants me to live my life with herpes? I mean, you know, certain... No, I'm not even going to say that. Because it said it heal, he heals all your diseases. God is not the author. God is not the author of diseases and sickness. Because we live in a fallen world. Because we live in a sinful world. Because, um, because of what humans what our actions have done things are on this world things that god has not allowed to be on this world are on this world because we disobey god right so we have sicknesses and diseases that come to pass like come in play but that's not god that's not god wants for our life god's will for our life is not to be sick is not to be having diseases it's not but i just i just really encourage people to pray and ask god for what they want he will allow it to happen. He will allow it to happen. And um, I've really just been called to tell my testimony. I struggle a lot with fear. Fear of what people are going to think of me. Fear of being judged by others. But I had to realize that you're not going to make it nowhere if you keep on fearing about everything. You're not going to make it nowhere if you keep on wondering what man is going to think about you because guess what <laughs> guess what i don't answer to man like being a christian you don't answer to man anymore being a believer be believing in christ you don't answer to man and when god tells you to do something when god tells you to do something he's testing you like god told me to share my testimony and i'm telling you i was battling with god i'm like god god I don't want to do it, God. I'm so scared of what people are going to think. I know I'm not. I know people don't want me to do it. I just know. And I just was scared. Like, I was fearful. And when you let fear attack you, you're telling God right now who you serve. You're telling God that you serve man. And I know people don't want to hear that. People don't want to hear that when you, when you disobey what God has told you to do, you're telling, you're showing God who you serve. He's like, oh, I see who you serve right because if you served god you would do what he told you to do you wouldn't be afraid to do what he told you to do you wouldn't be afraid to stop talking to these people you wouldn't be afraid to quit quit that job you wouldn't be afraid to tell that testimony if you serve god you know and seriously like i dealt with fear of telling my testimony fear the devil had me in like a chokehold when it came to fear because he knew if he could hold me in this chokehold that it would it would hold me back in what God has for me because God has a plan and he he wrote his plan for my life and a part of his plan was me telling my testimony. The devil hates us, right? He does not like us and whatever he can do, whatever he can do to hold us back, he will do that, right? And he, know, he knew fear was a big problem of mine, right? So he used that against me. So that I could stay stagnant. So that I don't move. Our testimony is attached to our blessings. Overcoming that fear. Overcoming that doubt. Overcoming things of sin. Right? Because fear is sin. Because God is not fear. So if God is not fear, then the devil is fear. Right? So it's sin. That is another reason why I believe God wants, to tell, wants me to tell my testimony. Because he knows that this is going to produce freedom for me it's gonna break something it's gonna break a spirit a spirit of fear right my friend said this so well my friend brianna she said you do not know you do not know who's attached to your story right you do not know who's attached to your story so with that being said you do not know 
who needs your story because our testimony is our story to help deliver somebody else to help heal somebody else to help encourage somebody else so i'm being selfish like i'm being selfish by me not telling my story that's selfishness and what is that a sin like I, I thank god for the community that god has allowed me to be a part of i thank god for the friends that god has put into my life because they have just taught me so much and i didn't see things the way i see them now and so it's like i'm not doing this for me me telling my testimony is not for me because i promise you if it was for me and um if if it was for me I would keep it to myself but because I know it's not for me because I know this is a part of God's plan because I know that this is to help somebody else because I know that this is for somebody else it's not for me I have to do it I just really want you guys to understand that like just believe in God believe in what God can do for you you know I believe and I know that I'm healed I've had so many confirmations of me being healed y'all I'm telling y'all I pray day in and day out I just had God heard me the first time of course he heard me the first time I prayed about my healing but it's just like I wanted to show God that I'm serious like I wanted to show God I'm serious about my healing I believe in you God I believe you can do it if you're going through something that you need healing from I will send you some physical healing from you know I will emotional spiritual healing I will put um, a link in down below of some of the videos i listened to i started speaking over myself i started telling whatever was going on with my body i started telling my diagnosis the herpes diagnosis i started telling it that you do not live here you do not belong here you are not a part of my body you will not live in my body you will not be dormant and stay dormant in my body you will not you will leave my body like i started speaking in jesus name amen i started speaking over my body because we have the power to speak over things that are not of us that are not you know that are not godly that are demons spirits you know what i'm saying once you start you know speaking it your mind start changing your mind just start changing and you start believing what you say you start believing that you are healed and then you will be healed it's faith y'all it's faith god rewards faith god rewards when when it seems like god rewards when it seems like there's no way out but you still think there's a way out god is like my child has faith my child has faith you know what i'm saying and sometimes you just need to increase your faith a little bit you know my faith would have never been as, as strong as it, as it is now if i never went through what i went through that's why i'm not even mad that i've went through this whole this journey of having herpes and stuff i'm not even mad at it because i really i really seek god more i really had to stay in my word i really had to pray more i really had to get down on my knees more i really had to fast more i had to do more you know what i'm saying because i was trying to figure out who this god was because i i, I wanted a healing you know what i'm saying and um i wouldn't <sighs> I would have just been like if this not didn't happen to me I would have just been a Christian that's just like I'm a Christian never really would have seen his huge power that he has on this world he is all powerful he's all powerful he's all powerful and God said he was gonna use me for his glory you know there's a point in time where I doubted God you guys know this and so I started like you know looking at other ways to like heal myself so like basically like you see how it was I who was doing it you know you see how ugh. anyways I started looking at other ways to try to heal myself right so I was like you know I know the whole alkaline the vegan lifestyle they say that it you know that's how you can heal diseases and stuff like that which I'm not doubting that it can i'm not saying that it can't but did god call you to get on get on a, a alkaline fast that's what i had to ask myself did he call did he tell you to do that he didn't tell me to do that he did tell me to fast but he did not tell me to get on no alkaline fast right so i had to think to myself like okay when i do become healed i'm gonna be saying it was the alkaline fast and god said no i want the glory he said no i want the glory i want you to just stay where you are i want you to um stop trying to do that and just wait until i do it for you seriously 
seriously because i would have said it was because i was on this diet that helped me get this like that that's what i would have been saying but god said no i'm gonna get the glory because i'm gonna do it for you god has done it for me some people can have herpes but never get outbreaks never have it you know actually get an outbreak so like i'm one of those people that minds is like that so they can't like test anything down there because i don't get outbreaks right so with that being said the only way that they will be able to know that this is clear and it's negative is by a blood test so i'm going to go to another doctor and get a blood test because i know that i'm healed i know that i'm healed like i've gotten so much peace about it like so much peace about it you know when i share my testimony with my friend like god god makes us go through little faces and these faces are tests because when i think about it now it's like wow i first got this diagnosis right I was so ashamed. I was so fearful. I was just so, I had a big burden on my back, right? God told me to tell your mom. God said, tell your mom. So, so scared. Just like how I'm scared about recording this video. So, so scared to my mom. I was just so scared, right? Told my mom. Comfort me. Everything was good, right? So I was like, it was like a piece of the burden went off my back. I kind of, I felt better, right? When I told my mom. Next thing I knew I had to do was like tell a stranger. The girl that I told, she wasn't a stranger, but me and her did not talk all the time. You know what I'm saying? We just had what we just it just had it was God ordained. It just happened out of nowhere. And we sat down, we started talking, and I just told her. I told her what I had going on with myself. Another weight was lifted off my shoulder. God said record a video. God was testing me because God said, okay, record a video. <laughs> I recorded the video. Another burden was lifted off of me. Like I literally felt myself becoming free. I just, I didn't feel like, I didn't feel like I was holding something in anymore. Like, you know, when you hold things in, when you hold shame and guilt from your past in, and sh when you just hold things in, it can really have a it can really have a toll on you. So God wanted me to release these things. He wanted me to release these things because the devil knew that the devil the devil knew that if I held these things in, all it was gonna do it was eat at me. The devil knew that if he was able to keep me to where I hold everything in, that I would never move on with my life how I should be moving with my life. He knew this was gonna hold me back from speaking in public to people because you know, I have dreams and aspirations on what I wanna do in life. He knew this was gonna help me from making friends. He knew this was gonna, I mean, he knew this was gonna prevent me from making friends. He knew this was gonna prevent me from doing what God called me to do. He knew this was gonna prevent me from different things. So as he knew this, God knows this too, right? God said, okay, well, I'm gonna need you to do a couple things. I'm gonna need you to do a couple things so that we can release what the devil is trying to hold you from, what the devil is trying to hold you with, right? So that's why I had to go through all these different stages of telling my mom, telling this person, telling this, doing this, doing that, doing that, so that I can be free. I can be free, y'all. God is so good. Do you not know how many people will literally stay stagnant in their life or not do what God has called them to do because of what their because of their situation. I could have easily gave up on what God called me to do because of my situation. But I've always been a believer in never giving up. And I said I will not give up. I said I won't give up. I won't give up on my dreams. I said, at this point, God, you gotta help me because I just refuse to give up. I just refuse to give up on, on what God has called me to do, right? But that's what I encourage other people to just do. Do not give up on you. Do not give up on you. No matter what you're facing in life right now, no matter what you're going through in life right now, no matter if your situation relates to my situation, right? I didn't give up. So that means you can't you can't give up either 
that means you are not allowed to give up either i did not give up people would literally stay where they are because they think their life is over i just refuse to do it i'm sorry god said this has to be done he says you have to tell your testimony and i said oh, it took me a long time to come in in agreement with it but i said okay because i know god can't take me where he wants to take me if I don't tell my testimony, you know what I'm saying? I know he can't. Because it's all a part of God's plan for my life. And you have to know the God that you serve. You do not serve man. You do not serve man. When that fear and when that doubt happens, you're serving that. You're serving that. Because God is not that. God is so good, y'all. Like, he's just so good. He did not have to save me. He did not have to heal me. He did not have to set me free. He did not have to... Y'all, I was a hot mess. It might not seem like I was a hot mess. Because of just what y'all see. Like, I, I can cover that pain up. You know what I'm saying? It might not seem like I was a hot mess. Because I really just healed from it. So, the fact that I'm able to sit on here and talk about this and not cry just says a lot. Like, God has given me peace about it god has god has already let me know girl you're healed you're you're fine <laughs> i i believe with all my heart that i'm fine y'all y'all just need to know the god that y'all serve if y'all believe in god and you say that you're a christian please know that god know the god that you serve god is almighty he's almighty god sees what we don't see so while I'm in my thoughts, like, God, I don't want to share my testimony. God, I'm so scared. God is like, I see what you don't see. I see what I want to do with your testimony. I know what I want to do with your testimony. And even if my testimony flops, God is going to give me peace because he told me to do. He told me to do this. He's going to give me peace about it. He's going to comfort me. He's going to be there for me. Even if, you know, I get judged, even if people look at me a different way. I don't please man. God said, good job. You did what I told you to do. Seriously. And I've been disobedient for too long. Me being disobedient is is not good either because you're telling god no like i did not realize all these things until god introduced me to you know my friend that really helped me to understand everything like you're telling god no sometimes certain things can't happen until your life until you do what god tells you to do yeah life is going to continue on but you won't see the full blessings until you do what god has called you to do and I knew this for so long. I wanted to really live in God's will for my life. And I knew that I wouldn't be living in God's will if I didn't tell it. This is like a um, telling my testimony, but also telling you why it's important to tell your testimony. Fear, doubt, not trusting in God, it's all the devil's tactics God did not give us fear and I am a, a girl that struggled with fear but God said I'm gonna need you to tell your testimony so that you do not struggle with this anymore seriously like the devil can't can't hold me he can't hold me he can't he can't have me in a chokehold no more when I when I publish this video <laughs> he really can't if you think about it this is gonna break your spirit of fear god knows where he wants me to go he knows that i'm i'm gonna be a person on social media a person that has a platform on the media on video screen and all that you know so it's like <laughs> it's bound to happen that i tell my testimony one way or another you know if it if it wasn't today if it wasn't now it was gonna be years from now. It was bound to happen, but God said now, 
if it was up to me, it would have been years from now. And who knows how many things could have been delayed. How many stuff would, would have been delayed. How out of God's will I would have been if I said it, if I told it years from now. You know what I mean? So it was a lot of pointers on this video. Like it was so many pointers and so many things that you guys can get from this. You know what I mean? But y'all, God sets free. God sets free. People living with things that are incurable, we all tend to act the same, tend to be very shameful, tend to be guilty, tend to tend to try to hide ourselves because we, we are scared of what people are going to think about us, tend to, you know, not have relationships, whether it's intimate relationships or um regular relationships we tend to all have the same type of traits because that's how the devil traps you he makes you think you're not worthy he really does and um i don't think nothing about i don't think that about myself anymore that's how i know like the devil has no hold on me like this is fully just god god like delivered me from so much he set me free from so much because when i tell you i'm moving how i used to move the 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 outgoing Samaria, the Samaria that talks to everybody, the Samaria that says you know, that speaks to everybody, says hey to everybody. When I was living in that dark place, very very reserved, didn't want to talk to nobody, didn't want to make friends, didn't want to do nothing, man. Everything just happens on time. God <laughs> is so good. Y'all, a year ago, I was in a dark place. Look at me now. I am living in freedom. I'm living in freedom. I'm not in bondage. I'm not in bondage. All that stuff had me in bondage. And I'm not in bondage anymore. I'm free. I feel so free. Like, it's a peace. It's a freedom that you get. When God takes care of you, when God take takes care of your burdens, of your pain. And I think I'm done. I think I said everything I needed to say. He's still in the miracle working business. I don't know why people think because we in a new, like we in 2020, wait, 2021, sorry, 2021. I don't know why people think because we in 2021, God is still not the God from thousands of years ago that was healing, that people was touching him and he was getting healed. Like, we for, we forget that aspect about God because we so dependent on doctors. And I'm not saying doctors is not good because God made, God called some good doctors. But remember, God has the final say. And I didn't allow the lady that told me no no bad blood to the lady she was just doing her job but i did not allow the lady to try to tell me that that was the end that there would that um there was no cure that i was just gonna have to live with the rest of my life and i was gonna tell my partners lots of different things i never believed that i never believed that i promise you i never believed that you know when people try to tell me that you know that's just what it is i'd be like yeah I was just, I was like, yeah, but like in my heart and in my mind, I always knew that God heals. He's a healer. He is a healer. And I just came to tell you guys, he's a healer and he will heal you if you allow him to. If you believe that he will, you got to believe. You got to believe that God can heal you. Because faith is so important. God blesses faith. God blesses faith. A person that has faith and you don't even got to have too much faith. Faith as small as a mustard seed. I don't know the exact words, but I know it's like faith as small as a mustard seed. Mustard seed is small. That faith can blossom into so much. So much. And then I also ask God to increase my faith. You know, because you're, I'm praying for something that, that people say is incurable. You got to really increase your faith in your mind. That's something bigger. You got to. You know, you got to increase your faith if, if if your faith is not there enough to where you really, really believe in your heart that you can be healed. So then I, I just started asking God, God, increase my faith. Okay? And I am healed. <laughs> I thank you guys for watching my channel. I love you guys so much. 
and i'll see you guys in my next video and we gone